take the delivered control unit and mount it inside the engine compartment behind the windscreen wash fluid container. Connect the coupling on the cable set to the control unit. Unscrew the nut on the earth and attach the earth wire on the cable set to the chassis. Now it's time for the new filter. Remove the fixing clamp on the mounted fuel filter. Unplug the connector and remove the clamps from the fuel lines. Pull off the lines. Be careful as diesel can run out of these lines. Replace the old fuel filter with a new one. Connect all of the fuel lines to the new filter. Then attach the filter to the engine using the clamp. And plug in the connector for the cable set. On vehicles with the fuel filter with water separator fitting, code KL5, you may also have to cut off the coding lug on the blue connector. On vehicles without this fitting, just attach the connector to the cable set. Once all components are in position, secure the entire cable set in the engine compartment using cable ties. Cut off the ends cleanly. We'll go all the way round once again so you can see where you have to attach the cable ties. Complete all of the work in the engine compartment. In the interior of the vehicle, attach the cable to the body using the delivered adhesive felt. Repeat the remaining steps in the reverse order. Do not forget to connect the minus pole to the battery and perform a functions test.